What's up guys? Welcome to the first official episode on Man Made Customs YouTube channel. So really quick, we're here in the Florida Everglades. We're aiming for Florida Gar and Largemouth Bass. Uh, we're using these soft baits and some live shiners. Um, I've heard live shiners are supposed to be the best thing to hit them with in the winter because the water is really chilly right now and they're very dormant. Not, not, not much uh, fish are moving around, but we're gonna see what we can do and enjoy the video guys. I think now, I think you ate it. Try to break me off. I'm gonna fight him more than I have to. All right, so this is a spotted gar, I believe, or Florida gar. I'm not too sure, but if you know, just let us know. Look at that guy. He's got monster teeth. Monster teeth on this dude. Absolute monster. These are prehistoric. They've been around forever, and they're literally living dinosaurs. And they're native here to, um, to the Florida Everglades, so yeah. Look at that. Look how hard their heads are. It's just solid. They have like armored scales. It's like a, this whole thing is a giant armored machine. It's huge, prehistoric fish. Ooh, tanker, tanker. Nice hook set right in the corner of the mouth. Yes. That's a nice Everglades bass right there. Yes. Look at that. Right in the corner of the mouth. Yeah, that's exactly what you want. That's ideal. Nice little hook set there. This cold weather's got them really, really still. But in the cold in the winter months like this, throw a shiner, uh, fly, something very still, um, and they'll smack it. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. These guys are eating well. Look at that belly on that guy. Eating real good, these guys. I got one. He's on. On on the fly. Nice. Sweet. Sweet, yeah, on the fly. There's this nice current that you see coming right through here. And then you're just basically jigging it in the current and they're all just getting super attracted by it and lucky enough got hit by it. That's a nice one. Yeah. Pretty chubby. These guys are healthy, man. Yeah, looks like a nice little bass. Look at that, look at the belly on that dude. Uh-huh. Nice That's Everglades nice bass. Yeah, let's get a release on him. Nice, another one on fly. Run it. Looks like a bit nicer one. Woo! Oh, this is a beautiful one, though. This is a beautiful one. Go down there. Woo. Look at that on fly, dude. Holy cow. Nice fish, bro. Nice fish. Check that out. Nice, bro. And check out the little fly that we're using. Yeah, show them the fly. It's just a little green feathered fly. Yeah. Winter time, nice winter bass in the Florida Everglades. Pretty sweet. Let's see the belly on him. Wow. It's a big boy. Oh, a nice little release. Yeah, let's do it. See ya. Mm. 
Nice. All right, looks like he's on with the largemouth. Ooh. Is that a peacock? Nah, I think so. Nah, no. it's a regular bass. There he goes. Another Everglades bass out here in the swamp. All these guys are footballs. They're eating real well. Yeah, for real. So here we caught another Florida largemouth bass. Uh, as I had mentioned earlier, these colors work to their advantage because it lets them uh, blend in better with the water. Again, got lucky. We got a super clear day out in the, uh, the Everglades. Yeah. Normally, murk. Can't yeah. see anything. But that helps them blend in with the water, helps them evade from prey. Let them get as big as this. There's a couple other slobs out there too. So we're gonna go ahead and let this guy go. There he goes. Look how clear that water is, guys. Here in the Everglades, it usually isn't like this. But now in the colder winter months, you could spot fish most of the fish you, you're looking for. You guys, you see? I don't know if the, we have a wide angle lens on right now, but there's two bass right over there. And you can just spot them. Very, very crystal clear Everglades water here. I like to set them up is right down here kind of through the spine it lets them swim a lot of people like to hook it through the mouth I like to do it through the spine I don't even see where the line is there you go dude that is a mondo I don't know what it is it's a mondo Ooh. I think it's a monster bass got a slug oh, 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 oh. <gasps> Oh my! Get him out of those bushes. Get him out of the bushes. Get him out of the bushes. Oh my slugger! That is a huge Everglades bass. No, it ain't. It's a bowfin. Oh no wonder I was gonna sit. <gasps> oh, if that was a bass, guys. If that was a bass. Ooh. Look at this guy. Ancient dude. You guys are about the oldest things here in the Everglades, aside from the gators. All right guys, so right here we caught a bowfin. Uh, these are probably one of Florida's oldest freshwater fish that we got here in the system. See, they got that nice little plate there going. But they can actually breathe air when they're in like really stagnant water. Another thing, like the gar also. Yeah. Solid, solid head. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get a, release a little on. release on this guy. He's just gonna take right off. These guys are always full of energy. Look at that gut. The gordo. There he goes. <laughs> and there he goes. There he goes for real. There he is. Little peacock? Yeah, little peacock right back there. The big, big largemouth under your bait, under your line. This little river here just has a lot of different type of fish, and they're all big. We got some big Oscars. There he goes. There, there he go. goes. Nice. He set up. Ooh, hoo. You want to move? Big Oscar on artificial. Go. Look at that guy. Right here's good. Yeah. Look at the spots on that guy. All right, guys, this is a tiger Oscar. These are invasive, but they fight like animals. Just have unlimited amount of stamina and real good colors on the back tail. There you go. Yeah, look at the spots on that guy there. Check that out. Now, usually a bit darker, but because of the cold weather, they tend to lighten up a bit. And if you can see here, they also have a, much like the gar, very uh, thick mucus line on them. So we're gonna go and there you go. them in. Easy release on those guys. Easy release, man. They don't, they don't really mess much. All right, guys, so thanks for tuning in and hope you guys enjoyed the content. Uh, for future videos, every 
every week we're gonna try to upload if we don't you can get us the next week hope you guys enjoyed the video also please make sure to go check out manmadecustoms.com manmadecustoms.com to provide everything that we did in this video they got lures they got special rods all sort of custom work that would be great for a situation like this so once again thank you guys make sure you subscribe and comment below lots of cool videos coming your way thank you